Hello everyone, welcome back to Inventor719 and in today's video we are going to be making a flamethrower with an old fuel injector from a car. Now really quickly before we start this project here which should be an awesome project, please go subscribe down below and hit the little bell notification so you're notified whenever I make an awesome video hopefully like this one here. Um, I would love to reach 300,000 subscribers by sometime this year. It's being tough with new YouTube algorithm, but it would really help me out if you guys hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you're notified once I make a video so you can go watch it right away. So let's start the video. So the main item you will need for this project is an old fuel injector from a car. It really doesn't matter the make, model, or size. Basically just your standard issue fuel injector. This one's from a GM. It's got your inlet, your nozzle, and a two pin connector. Along with that you will also need a barbecue lighter, 9 volt battery, syringe, a push button, a little bit of tubing, some elastics, your fuel, I'm using isopropyl 99% alcohol, some tape, scissors, hot glue gun, you know, the standard stuff. First let's go ahead and make the fuel system component. So go ahead and take your syringe. The size really doesn't matter. As you can see, I have a massive two ounce syringe here. Now we're gonna actually fill up the syringe before making the actual fuel system. This is because it is a lot easier to do so right now. So first I'm gonna plug the one end and just pour a bit of our fluid in the other end there. I won't fill her up completely, but that should be enough for now. And then I'm going to put the plunger in the other end, flips up, flip it upside down, and just try and get all of the air out. I probably won't be able to get all of it, but there you go. Now go ahead and put your tube on the end of the syringe. You have to try your best to find a tube that not only fits your syringe, but also very tightly fits on the end of your injector. As you can see, mine just barely fits. And so there is my completed fuel system. So essentially, I will be using the body of our barbecue lighter as the handle for the gun. Now, this barbecue lighter, as most of them do, have a safety. So instead of having to hold this every time you want to shoot it, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the forward position and use some tape to keep it there. Now that we have dummied our lighter, all you have to do is push the button with one finger and you have a nice solid flame. So the next step in the project is to connect the fuel system to the ignition system. So go ahead and position your fuel injector just behind the tip of the lighter like so. There's the fuel injector connected with some hot glue and electrical tape. Then what I went ahead and did was connected the syringe at the back of the unit using some hot glue as well just for simplicity of installation. So there is the completed body of the flamethrower. So to finish this off we're going to go ahead and do the electrical wiring. So what I have for this is a 9 volt battery with the charging harness which I'm going to be mounting just back here nicely fits right on the lighter and then we have our trigger which is a normally open push button switch I'm going to be lighting it just right over here then all you have to do to connect it up is run one wire to the switch to the injector then the other pin on the injector through back to the battery so when you hit the switch it'll create a closed loop and fire the injector these injectors are obviously from your standard 12 volt car and this is a 9 volt battery but as long as the battery is fully charged it can usually open and pulse an injector. There's the project all wired up. I have my battery unplugged right now to try and save it. Um, I got a new battery as the old one ran out of juice from accidentally being touched together. But basically the battery, one of the wires goes into one side of the switch. 
the other side of the switch goes into one side of the injector then the other side of the injector goes all the way back here into the battery so when you complete the circuit with this switch you uh, fire the injector the only downside is that I thought this switch was normally open meaning when you push it it completes the circuit but it's actually normally closed meaning when you push it it opens the circuit so to fire it I have to release it so that's one downside but it's gonna still work awesome so let's go ahead and connect that battery and do some shooting tests sorry I forgot to mention one more thing so basically inside of a car your fuel injector gets fuel pressure from your fuel pump and on this project we are providing the fuel pressure by squeezing the syringe now if you don't want to squeeze the syringe and you want it to be a little more automated I thought of an idea to use an elastic around the plunger um, basically just make it as tight as you can and then it will push on the plunger for you so all you have to do is flame and fuel now very quickly before turning on the lighter I'm gonna show you guys just a simple fuel test so I'm gonna hold the button down which means it will not fire I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my battery got my elastic on the back of my plunger for fuel pressure now when I release the button you can see the injector the injector is pulsing let me get a sweet angle for you guys now that's with this small little elastic and if I go ahead and push the plunger by hand to bump the fuel pressure you could see it squirts a lot faster and harder all right now I'm gonna unplug the battery release my finger off the switch let's go outside and turn on the fire all right everyone so here we are outside for the shooting test the sun is just starting to go down so i think it is going to be an awesome time of day to shoot this let's go ahead and load it up i'm going to get in front of the camera hopefully you guys can see this you should be able to so gonna depress the button unfortunately i have to do this but oh well plug in the battery now I will start up the flame which is our ignition source now when I release the button we'll have our flamethrower three two one all right let me try again different angle here three Two, one. All right, guys, here's a shot from a point of view over here. Let's start the flame. Three, two, one. I'm just gonna go ahead and make the bold statement and say that this is probably one of the coolest things I have ever built. And I'm having quite a lot of fun playing with it. Let me go ahead and do one more shooting test towards that wall again. Build up fuel pressure, start the ignition source, and here we go. All right, I couldn't finish playing with it right now. So I'm gonna show you guys maybe a distance test now the cool thing about alcohol is that it burns up before ever touching anything so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how far this thing can go so here we go three two one all right so that used up a lot of my fuel i hope it looked really cool on camera for you guys but essentially there is the build I really hope you guys enjoyed this build. I enjoyed making it and I think it was a very cool project. So if you aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe and if this video can get um, a thousand likes in a reasonable amount of time, I can go ahead and use all eight injectors that I have and maybe make an eight nozzle flamethrower on a bigger frame. So please consider liking this video for that reason alone. 
And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.